Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. 20 G's here. Um, I know I've been away for a little bit, but um, I had some technical difficulties with my laptop, so I wasn't able to edit any videos. But here's one. This is, I guess, this is a get ready with me. I was getting ready for a date. I wasn't actually gonna wear that, but that's how my face and my hair looked. But I didn't wear the hat and then the, you know, the actual shirt and stuff. That was just for the video. But, you know, here you go. Um, I had a small break in the video. My niece came, my brother brought my niece in the room, and you'll see her in a little bit. But I hope you like it, enjoy, comment, any questions. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, and let me know if you like it. You just want me till the morning, yeah, yeah. You just want me till the morning, yeah, yeah. You just want me till the morning.
The reason why I am looking up into a mirror as I'm patting under my eye, this is to prevent creasing under the eye. So if you have an issue with, you know, your concealer creasing up under your eye when you're patting and blending it out, that is, you know, this is a really good technique to use. I've, you know, learned this from watching another YouTuber and it actually works. And you also do this with your setting powder under the eye also to set your under eye concealer so it won't move and there won't be any, be any creasing. Also, if you notice that I'm using a different, I'm using a new, I'm using the same concealer but a different shade. I'm using the color Fawn and you know, I think it actually looks pretty good. It might be a little better than the toffee I was using, but you know, I mean, hey, to be honest with you, all those colors look good most of the time. Some of them are too light. Toffee kind of seems like it's a little lighter than Fawn, so I think this one will work pretty good for my skin. Yeah. 